Welcome back to Everyday Adventures of Cooking with Rick. Tonight we're going to do um, something fresh from the garden. I have fresh cucumbers. My garden's just starting to produce things and I've got some cucumbers that I just picked from the garden. So I'm going to try and make pickles. Now I've done pickled peppers before and a couple other things but I've never actually made pickles. So we're going to try that tonight. So the basic uh, ingredients uh, obviously are, and, and these cucumbers these are pickling cucumbers but I was away last week I come back and they're huge and I'm going to try it anyway so I may have to cut them down a little bit but anyway I've got the fresh cucumbers uh, for the spices we've got whole peppercorns whole mustard seed I had trouble finding fresh dill so I do have some fresh dill but I may have to supplement a little bit with this uh, dill paste just to get a little more of that flavor in there but if you have fresh dill, you can also use dill seed if you have the spice. I've got cider vinegar, a non-iodized salt like a kosher or sea salt, uh, my canning jars, and that's about it. Okay, so I have already sterilized my jars. I dipped them in boiling water for uh, five minutes or so. You could also sterilize in your dishwasher. I'm only doing about three jars tonight, uh, just doing a quick batch. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to get our brine started because you want to get that uh, boiling. So for the brine it's just the cider vinegar, water, and salt. So let me grab a measuring cup and we'll start this off. Okay, so a couple things I, I want to mention. First of all, I have a big pot of boiling water here because after we uh, can these we're going to drop them in the boiling water just like when you jar anything when I do my tomatoes or something and that sets the lid and make sure that they're going to stay fresh for a long time. Well, first we're going to get our stock, our, our brine boiling. So, um, from what I saw uh, on some of the recipes I looked at, is that you want about, you're going to need about three cups of liquid in there after you put the cucumbers in. That seems like a lot to me, but we'll see. So, um, we're going to put one part cider vinegar to two parts water. So, I'm going to assume that I need six cups of liquid. So three cider vinegar, six cups of water okay. for those three jars. So I'm going to do three cups cider vinegar. And you can use white vinegar uh, or you can use white wine vinegar, I guess. The cider vinegar, they say, gives it more of a traditional taste. So we're going to go with cider vinegar on this batch. So there is three cups of cider vinegar. Turn this on, start boiling, and six cups of water. And again, this is a. a can you see me? <laughs> Your back end. <laughs> I'm over here and she's over there. I don't know what she can see on the camera. Uh, this is a great time of year when the garden is starting to uh, produce, and the cucumbers, they always come early. So this is kind of the first thing. Uh, and now for each jar, we're going to do a tablespoon of salt. What are you looking at? The dog. Oh, I got to put my glasses on. I wrote some notes over here. Yeah. So for so for each jar, I'm going to do a tablespoon of salt. So three tablespoons of salt. Those are heaping teaspoons. Excuse me? They're heaping. No, they're, they're look. She's telling me I have heaping tablespoons. One was less, one was more, and one was perfect. So they Not all need out. <laughs> all right. mm -hmm. Don't make me look for another camera person. <laughs> all right, I gotta find my cover. All right, so we're gonna let that come to a boil. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to cut our cucumbers to fit in the jar. Now because like I said, these cucumbers, I let them grow a little bit too big. So I have to make sure they're going to fit in there. So I'm going to trim a little bit off the ends. And then I'm going to cut these up. And because they're kind of big, 
probably going to do these. Yeah, I'll do four pieces. So I'm going to get eight spears out of these because they're kind of big. All right, so we're going to cut these up. And again, I don't know how many are going to fit in each jar. This is kind of a work in progress here. But we're going to cut our cucumbers up. Now what you're going to do, we'll cut these two up and see how far we get. You want to put your spices in the jar at the bottom and then add your cucumbers on top. So for each one, these I've got these the head of garlic I picked up. The cloves are huge. So I'm going to take a clove of garlic Normally you want a couple cloves, but because this one's so big, I'm just going to cut it up into big chunks. Put that in the bottom. I'm going to add a bay leaf. I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon of peppercorns. I'm going to put a quarter teaspoon of mustard seed. Now our dill. Again, I wish I had, I tell you, I went to the store the other day and with this pandemic and, you know, we've gone through cycles of things missing at the store, whether it's toilet paper, paper towels, flour. There was the whole time everybody was buying flour. There was no vinegar and no dill. So I think everybody's pickling everything they have in the garden. Uh, in case they need it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put some fresh dill into that jar. I have enough there for the three. And I'm going to put a little bit of this dill paste in there. I'm going to try this out. I've used others of these pastes like basil and uh, other spices. I've never tried the dill. Okay. So we're just going to put a little squirt of that in there to get that dill flavor. Okay. So those are our spices that are going to go in there. Now, obviously we're not putting salt in here because it's in the water. Now we're going to pack our cucumbers. You don't want the cucumbers to come up and touch the bottom of the jar, of the lid. And you want to pack these in kind of tight. If they're coming up because you want the liquid to go over. So if they're too tall, you want to cut them down a little bit. I'm going to have to cut a couple of these taller ones down. Because you definitely want that liquid to be above uh, the cucumber. Oh boy. You want to pack these in there. You want them tight, but you won't, don't want to go crazy and make them too tight. We can get another one in there on this side. Let's get that over. We're going to fit this one skin one in there over here. Perfect. That looks pretty good. So there's our first jar. So I'm going to go ahead and fill the other two jars. And then we'll come back and by then our liquid should be boiling. All right, so as you can see, we've got all of our jars stuffed, spices on the bottom. I added an extra clove of garlic on the top of each one because I like garlic. 
Um, and you can obviously adjust these based on what you like. So I ended up filling three jars with those. It took three and a half cucumbers, mine were really big though, to fill these and uh, fill three jars. I got my brine is boiling, so I'm going to bring that over here. And again, I have a pot of water boiling because we're going to submerge these in the boiling water to set the tops. I also have my tops in boiling water. You want to take your lids, these are new lids, um, and you want to put them in hot water to loosen up the seal and to sterilize it. So, here we go. We're going to ladle our, you know what I'm going to do? You don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to put a dish under here because I'm probably going to spill some. Hmm. 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 So the confidence level uh, by the crew is very high that I'm going to spill some. So we're going to ladle the brine right over the cucumbers and with the hot liquid it's going to uh, kind of cook those uh, peppercorns and mustard seed, the bay leaves, the dill, and get all that flavor in there. And you want to cover those. Then what you want to do is take your lid, which is boiling hot. You don't have to go crazy tightening it. Just tighten it down by hand. Fill the other one. You can already kind of smell the spices in there. And my family loves pickles. They are crazy for pickles. So these three jars are not going to last very long. I forgot to wipe the top of the other jar, but it'll be okay. In fact, when the kids were little and we'd go out to a restaurant, we would actually order an extra plate of pickles because they would eat so many pickles. So I don't know if these will be up to their standards or not. We'll see. If not, they can buy their own. I think they're going to be good. All right. And we are going to do more uh, cooking with stuff from the garden as it comes in. Put our top on, and then we're going to, like I said, not go crazy with them. As a matter of fact, I went to a tag sale not too long ago, and I picked up this antique jar uh, lid holder, or jar uh, grabber, so you can grab it in the water. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try it. So now you're just going to take your jars. Yeah, this thing you go down, it grabs the jar. Oh, huh? hmm. it may actually work. Look at that. And now we can set them in to our boiling water. And you want the water to cover the top of the jar. And again, this is the same thing I have to do for my tomatoes. And it's going to create a vacuum seal in the jar. We're going to leave those in there for about 10 minutes. And then we'll be back to take them out. Okay, so our jars have been boiling for about 10 minutes. We're going to take them out. Turn the gas off. that just to make sure everything's mixed in there There's one and then I'm just going to make sure that the top is on okay. get our next one make sure everything's mixed in there And there we have it. 
Didn't take long. We've got top. We've got three jars of pickles, and it took uh, it took about uh, it took those full four cucumbers to fill those up. These they say you want to sit for about six weeks so those flavors really get in there. Uh, also, if you've never canned before, you're going to hear these pop. So right now the lids are kind of up as they cool, and you're going to start hearing a little click. That is that vacuum seal happening, and that's how come they can stay fresh for so long in there. And I got to tell you, this is the greatest thing. I got this for about a dollar at a tag sale, and I didn't think it was going to work. This thing's fantastic. Uh, anyway, that's our first uh, from the garden recipe: homemade dill garlic pick, garlic dill pickles. A lot of fun. I love canning stuff. I hope you'll try it. Again, uh, we'll be back with more recipes from the garden. Please uh, like the channel, subscribe to the channel, click on the things you're supposed to click on. If you make a recipe that we do, let us know how it comes out. We're starting to get some feedback. We love it. So again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Hey, it was so perfectly centered, and then you just moved. Now we need to recenter it. Ooh.